Tess, we hear the terms mobile society, mobile generation, mobile culture with increasing frequency. How can universities and faculty address this evolution? Well, I think it's important for us to remember that the technological evolution is an evolution and inherently a slow process. It's, it's very frustrating to faculty to feel like they have to accomplish this sort of transition overnight. And if we as a support system provide the reassurance that it is a process, give people time to adopt as needed those particular technologies that are more appropriate or relevant to their curriculum or their content, and especially incentivize those early adopters of emergent technologies so that a lot of the um, a lot of the problems and the wrinkles that are inherent with new technologies the bugs and the incompatibility issues can be worked out by those people who are more confident in that arena as well as have a specific um, context for ways in which this technology can be applied and then sort of like the frontiers people who were settling the West back when they left as a group, they didn't all travel as one line, as, as one you know, uh, long horizontal line of people. There were those in the front, there were those in the middle, and there were support folks in the back. And I think that if we, if we look at this technological adventure as an adventure and let people, whoever they are, find their respective place in that line, and it may move, it may shift. Those in the back may get excited and move to the front. Those in the front may get frustrated and move to the back. But as long as we're moving forward as a group, even if we're not in lockstep, I think that is going to ensure a wider scale of success and a more long-term sustainability to any technology uh, projects that we endeavor.